Hey, beautiful people. So it's been a while since I have connected with everyone and I have missed you guys so, so, so much. You have no idea. It's been an intense 2020. I literally entered into 2020 thinking like the last 10 years have been so insane for me. Personally, professionally, I had a baby. You know, we created a brand. I got into makeup, um, had a blog, like literally so many insane things. Um, and I maybe wasn't ready for all those things, but also had responsibilities. So I had to push forward. So I was ready to kind of take a mental break and then COVID happened and we were kind of forced, everyone was forced to take a little bit, to hit a little bit of a reset button. And, you know, I thought a lot about why I am even in the beauty industry and why I got into it and what do I want people to feel about our brand, about, you know, why we're here, etc. I'm going to get back into doing videos and I'm really excited to connect with everyone again on so many different levels and in ways that I haven't done before. But today I have a really important announcement and this has been something that I have decided I wanted to do for a long time now. I wasn't really sure on the best way to share this news with you guys but I thought you know what I want you guys to hear it from me I want you guys to hear everything about the reason why I'm doing it and I want to also to, to tell you guys what I expect the future to be so I will make the announcement um, now because I don't want to leave that waiting I have decided to appoint a new CEO for Huda Beauty her name is Natalie Christo and I'm really excited for her but I'm also very very excited for me <laughs> I'm very excited for me so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit really quickly I wanted to walk you guys through a story so in 2009 I actually lost my job. Um, I was fired. I was working in a recruitment company and 2008, the recession had hit. And then 2009, we just, it wasn't a good place to be in anything related to finance. So I lost my job. I was really devastated. And my sister pushed me to do makeup. Some of you may know this, but I got into makeup because I actually felt ugly. I just never thought it would ever be a job because honestly, I, I mean, you know, coming from a Middle Eastern family, like you had to be a doctor or something kind of serious and makeup was just not that. And I did get support from my parents because they legit had given up on me. They were just like, oh, like just do something, anything. And so I studied makeup and then I came back to Dubai and you know, so much happened after that. I started a blog, I got pregnant, I launched a beauty brand. I was moving in so many places so quickly. For the longest time, I wasn't doing anything that was making money. I was hoping that one day and praying that one day my blog would make money and I would support my family, but I really didn't know how that would work. People used to ask me, why are you doing a beauty blog? Like it's, it's fashion, it's all about fashion. And I was like, Ugh. and then makeup artists were also telling me like, why are you giving away all your secrets for free? I literally felt like I was here of service. Like I felt like this is my job. My job is to do everything for free and one day it'll make sense. I don't know when, but it will make sense. So when I got into blogging, I, you know, was able to really connect and build a community and do something that was so amazing on so many levels. It was really fulfilling for me. And I didn't know that it was going to turn in product. My sister Mona actually came to me. She was like, you know, I'm getting calls. People are stopping me in the street. People are coming to me in dinners and asking me where you're getting the lashes that you were making. I was making these little lashes and posting pictures in them and sometimes using them in, in videos. And, and everybody was just like, where do you get the lashes? She convinced me to start a business. I, I was like, I don't want to do product. Product. She found the manufacturer and then I was like, I was so inspired. I remember seeing the lash and I was like, wow, those are beautiful. Like it lit something in me that had never been lit before. I didn't know what was going to happen from that point. I didn't know how things were going to work out. I didn't know how to sell products. I The only thing I did know is that I wanted to sell in Sephora because that's where I was shopping. But I didn't know everything else. And so we started the brand. We begged Sephora to sell our products. They finally took it and we launched a brand. And all of a sudden it was like, you know, because we had had the blog for a while, we were really successful from the get go. We didn't, we weren't making money yet and we were struggling in the background, but the products themselves were successful. We were selling out. And I remember my husband came to me and he was like, you know, he had already started his own business and he came to me he's like I think you need help and I really want to support you I believe in you but you have to become the CEO I was trying to find people that I could you know potentially think about to, to take care of my baby but I, I didn't know who it would be and I and I felt kind of like hopeless I was like maybe I can't find the right person and my husband said you have to be that person I wasn't ready like sure I studied finance in school but do I need to understand balance sheets and cash flows and like my, my mind was going in a million miles per hour and I just didn't know what that meant but he was like you need to lead the business and this is so important for for the company if you really want to make it successful you have to do this and you have to do it right now and so I did it I wanted to create product I wanted to create content I wanted to create you know things that had never been done before in the beauty industry I I loved creating product from the perspective of a consumer that's what I wanted to do honestly I would produce content and product for the rest of my life for free forever I would do it forever and be so fulfilled I would be like on cloud nine. That would be the best job ever. But then I was also bogged down in meeting after meeting, thinking about who we're hiring, where we're selling, how we're selling, you know, a lot of the operations, a lot of those things. And I was like, I, you know, I felt very torn because I knew I had to do that. But I also,
also, you know, wanted to do something else. We created the brand seven years ago and I spent from that point on till date still being very much involved in product, but doing less and less content. It's kind of crazy, but people don't realize this. I, I literally would sit down on my chair and, and it would be like a revolving door. People coming in and out of my office. There, there came a point where I was literally like, I would have to ask people, do you mind if I, I quickly pee? Because I have been in and out of meetings. I remember watching this movie called The Intern and there was a meeting with one person. It was like two minutes long. I was like, that's literally how my life feels. I know I'm rambling. But fast forward to 2018. I knew at that point that the company had gotten into a much better place and I was ready to find somebody to actually take that role of CEO off my plate and allow me to be the founder I always knew I was. Creating a vision, cultivating, you know, culture and working in hand in hand with this person to help, you know, realize those visions. So I met this woman through a mutual friend and we immediately hit it off. I just liked her. You know, I felt like she was like I could I could she could be a friend and I could also trust her. She was cool. She was really smart. She was really experienced, but she was also really nice. And I liked that so much. Like for me, kindness is so important. You know, she was kind of going through a period of time too. And she was trying to figure out where she wanted to go in her next role. And I was like, you have to come to Head of Beauty. You have to come here. I need you to help me set up the US office. And then I want you to take over the role as, of CEO and help me with that. You know, a lot of people are wondering, what does it mean if you are no longer CEO at Head of Beauty? First of all, I told you I never wanted to be CEO in the first place, but I can actually do what I meant to do in the company. I've been getting different responses when I've been telling people privately for like the last year, like my plan is to no longer be CEO. Some people are like, congratulations, that's amazing. You can now focus on product, you can focus on content, you can focus on what makes you the best and the vision and all those things. And some people are like, oh my God, are you leaving? I will tell you, I have had my fair share of founders that I have met. And I have met founders who have gotten really lucky and you know, have come across you know brands or products or an opportunity and in they're still not completely sure what they're doing, but they're making money. I've met founders who are really quick to exit um, companies. They just want to make a quick buck and they're they're really specific about what they, they, what they want to do. And then I have met founders, very few and far in between. I have met founders who are willing to do whatever it takes to make their brand succeed, who want to create change and flip the industry they're in for the better, who have purpose, who have passion. I strongly feel that connection with those founders because I am that founder. Before we actually got our investment, I walked away from so many things that were willing to really help us in so many ways, but weren't good for the brand. I had some people come to me with millions and millions of dollars for opportunities, but it was bad for the brand. It was gonna take my focus away. And I knew that's not what I wanted to do. So what is my new title now? I think a lot of people are wondering, I'm just the founder. I'm still gonna be the chairwoman of the company. Right now I'm even more involved in Huda Beauty than I've ever been before, but on a different level because I now have somebody who's taken off a lot of these responsibilities that were kind of maybe bogging me down I now have the opportunity to see the company in a way that I've never seen before you know I want to be more connected to our community I want to make sure that I can you know give you guys better content and more more deep connection into who I am and why the brand exists and, and why I'm in the beauty industry. That's really important. Okay guys, so sorry about the lighting. The sun just set. I'm filming in front of windows, so I had to reset the lighting. Thank you guys so much for all your support and for everything that we've been doing. I mean, we've gone through a lot over the past, you know, seven years and you guys have been there sticking with us, supporting us, making us who we are. And I just want to give you guys the best product, the best content, the best knowledge always. I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone. Yeah, the sky's the limit. We're going to do some amazing things together.